Okay, hello again. Uh, this is part two of my portrait demonstration. I uh, just had a quick look on the screen to see how it's looking, and I've got to put a little bit more burnt umber across the forehead here. And you can see basically we've got a sort of skull shape starting to form out of the background. Now, working my way up through flesh tones, uh, going from burnt umber up to what would be probably burnt sienna, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of primary red or magenta to my mix, and from burnt umber with a little bit of this, essentially I've got a hotter redder brown. And I'm going to start working this, maybe a little bit more there so you can see. So a redder brown across the more illuminated part of the forehead, down the nose, just a little bit either side for what represents as the top eyelids leaving the eye sockets dark. The brighter illumination, a little bit more red into the mixture there. The brighter illumination coming down across the, the cheek area, wrapping round, coming across under the nose, which will be the top lip area, or above the top lip, sorry, the filtrum that's called that little dent under your nose. And also an oval illumination the chin area. Then we'll come up a little bit redder than that but also so taking a bit of brown a bit of red so we've got more of this burnt sienna colour and then a little bit of Naples yellow starts to brighten things up a little bit without going too big a step. So we can come across the forehead again and I'm seeing a kind of almost a bird shape across there look. So I'm going to bring that down slightly in the middle. The brush is very, very dry. Look at that. See, just tickling the paint onto the surface. And let's get back to our slightly lighter mixture. Don't forget the darker mixture is still in the brush. So the more you work with it, the more that's going to have an effect. After you've just applied your lighter bit, things will get progressively darker. So you have to keep adding brighter and brighter paint. So, same mixture, a little bit more Naples yellow in the mix. So, forehead area, the hooded part of the eye, down to the nose and the brightness across the cheek. A little bit down the side of the face there. And we've got somebody looming out of the background. A bit of a splayed area for the nose there, and then this oval part for the chin. And we've got a human face, hopefully, starting to loom out of the background. And portraiture is a bit weird, really, because there's 8 billion plus of us on the planet, and my job here today is to do one of those people. I'll be happy with just something that looks a bit like a human being. And um, it just goes to show that all that all I'm really doing here is looking at this as an image. It doesn't matter that it's a human being. In fact, if you can fool your brain into thinking, oh dear, I'm doing a you know a human face, that's the scary thing, so switch that off. All we're doing is a little bit of geography, like looking at a map like those old atlases where you had the sort of lush colours for the lowland areas and then coming up through brighter and brighter straw colours until we get to the really pale parts of the mountains. So imagine you're in an aeroplane flying over a landscape and we're going over these lowland hills and then we zoom across the nose which is a mountain coming up. So it really is just painting with geography in mind. 